and we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lag, and this is Project Castaway. Today, we're going to fix the radio tower. I've got a ton of screws and a ton of, uh, what is it, metal shards? I think that's what it's called. And we're going to just carry them up there and start plugging in. We're going to have to take a few trips to get everything up there because there is so much that we need, and I just don't have the inventory space. The sun's coming up, the rain's stopping. It's a brand new day, five in the morning. So we should be able to get this done in a day. And then we're going on an adventure. Up the ladder we go. I think there's something to repair on this first platform. Wrong, must be the second platform. Right here, some sort of antenna somewhere. There we go. Yeah, we need screws and, and, and metal scrap. So how much metal scrap did I bring? Enough. How many screws did I bring? just enough and then the heat sink and the circuit board let me go up here just in case i have a couple of more screws on me or metal scraps we can just dump them in here really quick yeah that's it okay so more scrap metal more screws and then we'll get the other stuff we need now damn it whole lot of screws in this box just grab uh i don't know that probably is good and then we'll just grab some more of these shards over here scrap metal and my inventory is now full, so back up we go. Okay, more metal in this one. That should be, oh, short on scrap metal. We'll get some more screws. Okay, full on the screws. So copper shard, power cell. I gotta fix you too? Okay, we'll take some screws. All right, now, okay, I gotta get a lot more metal scraps. 20, 23. All right, wait, wait, wait a second. There's no way that you can slide in this game. Am I sliding? I am sliding. That's a slide. Oh, okay. What do you need that for? I Okay, whatever. Okay, that should be the last of the metal scrap for that antenna. And then hopefully... Of course not. Of course not. Of course I didn't bring enough. It's fine, though. Now I can work on everything else. I should have just enough inventory space to get everything on this last trip. I'm pretty sure it was just three more of these. So I will grab four to be on the safe side. I need a heat sink and a circuit board. Okay, that's a heat sink right there. That's a circuit board. Also gonna need a power cell and three copper shards. All right, that's power cell. Uh, copper shards should have some in here somewhere. Let's see, granite, 10, copper. One, two, three. And last but not least, two microprocessors and two circuit boards. One, excuse me, two. And then the microprocessors, there, got it. Two microprocessors, got it. All right, that's everything. Okay, we're going to fix the radio tower. I am mostly playing this game blind, meaning I'm not watching any kind of videos on it. I'm just kind of going with the flow, seeing what happens, picking up notes, trying to figure stuff out myself. Uh, I get a little bit of help from the comments section, but I would assume most of you guys are viewing this blind. Some of you are watching some other creators and have given me some tips, so I appreciate the help. I don't mind it at all. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going to happen when we get this fixed. Uh, yep. Got, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ladders. Ladders are the worst. What is this? Hang on. What is this? Is that something I can pick up? No. All right. Yeah, ladders are the worst. Every video game. Every single one of them. They just haven't figured out ladders yet. All right. That should be, yep, the heat sink and the circuit board. Okay. That's one fixed. You get the copper shards and the power cell. That is both antennas fixed. And now for the power box here, metal scrap, two microprocessors, two circuit boards. The radio tower has been repaired. You damn right it has been. Uh, um, um, with the tower parts repaired, I only need to activate the tower with the key. I don't have a key. Nobody's given me a key. There's supposed to be a dead body with a key on it somewhere. I haven't found that. Are you kidding me? There's a power box on the tower that needs a key to turn it on. I'll most likely have it on me whenever I die. Assuming nobody else loots it before you, it'll be on my body. Anyone who wants to do me a small favor, I have scattered around the island notes from my diary. Yeah, we know about the notes and that'll open the code box. All right, there's a dead body with a key on it somewhere. Okay, and I don't think it's on this island. We're gonna have to do some island hopping to find the dang key to the, oh my God. I mean, that could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. 
Maybe we go to the most obvious island, which I was kind of trying to save because it looks super cool. Oh God. Oh jeez! All right. I'm fine. Like that island right there. It's clearly got like a lighthouse on it or something. So that's where I'm going next. Maybe we'll find the body with the key on it there. And now that they've given you alerts when you're close to quest items, it'll be pretty easy to find if I get on the right island. But well, this is the only dead body I have ever found on this island, and there is certainly no key next to it at all in any way, shape, or form. And I've tried digging it up before, and that didn't help. Yep, no key. No key on you. Rest in peace. Well, let's see. It's about two in the afternoon now. If we set sail right now, we'll probably make it to that island uh, just as it's turning night. Yeah, that island over there, just as it's turning night. I've got food on me. Uh, we can take a sip of water before we go. And uh, we've got a bed on the boat anyway, so we can sleep and make it uh, daytime uh, once we get over there and get settled in. So, oh, look, I made the smoker, guys. It takes absolutely forever to smoke meat. 69 hours to be exact. And that's about, uh, what is that, a third of the way done. So 70 plus hours. But I guess it'll be worth it because that meat will probably never spoil. What did I name you? Henry, Henry, let's go. We've got a mission. All right, oh God, Henry, I'm so sorry. I need you to act like a cadaver dog for me, Henry, okay? I need to find a dead body and you're gonna help me do that. And uh, hopefully it's on this island we're going to next. Here, let me get you situated again. Sorry for kicking you across the boat. Almost kicked you into the ocean. Uh, right about here, Henry. You hang out there, okay? Yeah, that's where we're headed. Right over there. It was suggested that I look inside of the captain's quarters of the boat that we went in on the last episode, the uh, shipwreck just off the coast of the island we're leaving now. Totally forgot that there would probably be a captain's quarters on the top deck of the ship. I just got so excited, dove down to the bottom. Uh, so I think on the way back home, maybe we'll make a pit stop and see if we can get inside of the captain's quarters and find some loot inside of it. Oh yeah, by the way, I did replace that one big storage thing with a stick holder. It's holding the sticks just fine and a rock holder and I've got 13 rocks in there. So now we can bring rocks and sticks back home with us. And it's not affecting the ship at all as far as the physics go. So that works great. I just wish those storage boxes would work. Also, I'm a little bit worried, you know, this game being in early access and all. What if the key is supposed to be on that skeleton I showed you before we left and it just isn't, okay? I I'm sure they'll make a patch eventually for it, but you would think that would have been one of the first patches if that is in fact the body. Uh, so I have, I have pretty good hopes that that's not where you find it because I feel like they would have fixed that by now. So uh, fingers crossed we run across a body with a key soon. Yeah, but you would almost definitely think this would be the island most people would go to first because it just looks the most like, ooh, let's go to that island. So hopefully this is where we need to be. And we will raise you, slow her down a little bit, and get you raised, and we are here. Henry, stay aboard the Tinkerbell. Oh, Henry, All right, you keep guard. Anybody comes, let me know. Shoot a flare up in the sky. If You can't do that, can you? No, you can't. Better bring my bow with me just in case. Uh, grab some more arrows. All right, full on arrows. Let's hop aboard. What do we have over here? Crabs. Is this a refrigerator? A broken stove. All right, I'm not really here to collect. I just kind of want to see what we've got. I mean, I'll do some collecting on the way out of here. Actually, you know what? Yep, sun's going down. Maybe we should... Oh, a jaguar's on the beach. Okay, good to know. Yeah, maybe we should go to bed. We'll make it... Oh, a broken computer. Yeah, we definitely need more parts for the plane, too. So I'll grab a bunch of stuff before we go. But I'm thinking we make it daytime before we do anything else. Let's go for like a full nine hours tonight. Just some real sleep. Some good heavy sleep. If my math is correct, this should wake us up right around daybreak. Four in the morning. Yep, 4.02. Good. All right, let's get up. Henry, hopefully you slept well. All right, I'm going to go kill a jaguar first and foremost. Just get that out of the way. That way it doesn't surprise attack me when I ultimately forget that he exists. If I kill him now, I'll never forget that he exists. Hey there, jaguar. What are we going to do, huh? What are we doing? And I missed my first shot. Okay. Oh, I might have got him that time. Maybe. I'm gonna just jump up on here. Okay, good, good, good. What you gonna, oh, I thought you were chasing me. Not so much, huh? Choo. Yeah, I got two in them. Oh God, I missed. Oh, this, okay. Well, that'll work, early access, I love it. Oh God. Oh God. 
Oh god, get to the water. He doesn't like water. Cats don't like water. That's a real thing. Except Jaguars actually are really good swimmers. So that's weird that he runs away from the water. And house cats. House cats don't like it. Hey, get back here. Not done yet. Now you're done. No, you're not. Oh, I'm almost done though. Oh, easy does it, kitty. There we go. Got him. And don't worry, I brought some bandages that I can barely see because it's so dark out. Let's turn this way. Can I see him better this way? No, not at all. But we'll put a bandage on, and that's pretty good. All right, give me my arrows back, please, sir. Thank you. Just chop you up. Get me some of those leopard steaks. And uh, don't you drop teeth of some kind? Yes, teeth. Give me those. Probably something special we can make with those teeth, just like we did with the seagull beak. Uh, speaking of seagulls, I did make the advanced seagull trap. It does catch them a lot quicker than the other one. So you can get several seagulls in a day with the advanced seagull trap, whereas the primitive one, the one you can make right off the bat, you can only get like one seagull a day. Oh, shit. What? Why, man? Why don't you mind your business? All right, jeez. Oh, oh, hello. We found something. Here we go, inside of a spooky cave. What do I got? <gasps> are you the key holder? You are! <laughs> Jackpot! I knew coming over to this island was a good idea. It just screamed, come over to this island. I was, and to think, I was going to save this island for like last because it just looks so cool. All right, we got blueprints here as well and another yellow sticky note. So first of all, the dead body was clinging to this key. It says radio tower power box. And then this is the new sticky note we just got, which is five pages long. So I'll do the cliff notes. Let me read it real quick. So this guy right here, he had a friend that also worked for Mord Morden Pole Corp, uh, the evil corporation that's out here. Yeah, they discovered a cave. I don't think it's this cave, but it had a bunch of carvings in it. And uh, the carvings were telling a story and they were trying to decipher what the symbols meant, but it looked like it was a warning from the island. Also, some of the carvings would move around. They disappear and reappear in different spots. These two eventually found in a cave behind a false wall, a journal that was kind of a key to the, uh, to the carving. So it would explain what the carvings were saying. They decided eventually though, that the situation out here was so dire. Employees were fighting over food. Morale was really low. The supervisors were very, very strict and didn't trust any of the employees and would do search and seizures of their property um, just to make sure they weren't stealing stuff and just were being super, super nosy and controlling without giving them any information on what they were actually doing here. So a lot of employees decided they wanted to escape on makeshift rafts, which sounds like a suicide mission to me. Anyways, that's kind of where it stops, but there was also another digit at the end of this one. So we have one, two digits, three digits, four digits. We have four digits. So that's good. I think the combination lock was like seven or something. Let's check out these blueprints. An, oh, what is that? Oasis seasoning and a blueprint for a trident. Oasis seasoning, seasoning used to improve meat. Oh, I can finally use my spice table. That's why I couldn't figure it out before because we weren't ready to figure it out. So we can, uh, we need to make a spice container, uh, two ginger and two cocoa. And I guess we can make our meat better than it already is. I don't really know what the benefits would be, but we're gonna test that out. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the key. Thank you very much. We should just keep checking this island while we're here. And then we'll go back and put the key in. And we'll also stop at that uh, shipwrecked uh, ship. The shipwrecked ship. The ship that is wrecked. What's wrong with me today? Just because we killed the Jaguar doesn't mean there's not another Jaguar around here. So we've got to be very careful. Let me do a little circle around this. I'm going to check all corners of this island. This is a big island, it looks like. I just don't want to miss any blueprints or any more notes. Look at this. Another blueprint. Oh, hello. Scorpion, I'll see you. And we just got a blueprint for the plane seat. That's easy to make, leather and cloth. Okay, nice. Oh, by the way, I have some of that smoked meat on me, so that should just last, I don't even know how long, probably forever. I don't think it's gonna spoil. It shouldn't. With the amount of cook time it takes to cook those things, that thing should never spoil. Oh, an old ship right here, look at this. Cool. Oh, is this a blueprint too? It is, four blueprints. This one says an advanced bird cage. What? It's not a bird trap, bird cage. An easy way to catch birds 
with a higher probability than a normal bird snare. An easier way to catch birds with a higher probability than a normal bird. Are these like one in the same? I'll make it. I'll make everything. I don't care. That is not the first time I've heard about this cave that those two workers had come across. So there is a cave somewhere on this island. I don't think it was the one the dude was in because we would have seen the carvings on the wall unless they disappeared. Good news is there's a lot of electronics on the beach. I should probably eat really quick though. Go ahead and eat that. And then uh, I need something to drink. I don't have anything to drink. We can chop down a couple coconuts though. No problem. Ever since I got this axe, I don't have to worry about it breaking ever. Best axe in the game. Maybe. There might be better axes in the game. I don't know. Get another coconut. Coconut. Cool. And we'll drink both of them. Or at least one. Let's see how that does. And if I need to drink the other one, I will. But it looks like also I saw another computer out here. So there's plenty of electronics to grab from this place. Uh, definitely a lot of supplies. Might come back and kind of clear out the beach here after I'm done searching. But I'm not going to be able to take it all back in one go. Oh, what the heck's going on over here? Oh, there's a little plane crash. Look at this. Cannons? Man. Oh, little shithead. Wolf spider. God. Sort of old wooden wagon. It's like different time periods. It's so weird. What is going on here? Is that a coffin? Yeah, that's a coffin over here. Vampires? Probably vampires. I should have known this all time. Oh, another spider. A journal page from Lieutenant... Excuse me. A bird scared me. Lieutenant J. Thompson note. Okay, wow. This is a short one, so I'll read this one. My name is Lieutenant Jack Thompson, an American fighter pilot. Today, during a mission to Japan, a fierce storm scattered our fleet. I deviated slightly, hoping to find a safer route, but ended up crashing on this uncharted island. Oddly, I feel a strange sense of relief. War already took my brother, and my grandfather perished in the Great War. I couldn't bear the thought of my pregnant fiance, Mary, losing me too. I hope to find a way to get off this island back to Mary. I will continue searching and write more about my ordeal as a way to journal this chapter of my life. Now, really quick while I'm right here, you guys remember Logan on the other island? The big commercial air airplane that crashed and we started finding red sticky notes? Well, I stayed on that island. Well, I went back to that island plenty of times to keep getting more and more supplies. And I kept finding more and more of Logan Harper's notes. And it tells this terribly sad story. It's very good. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to incorporate it into the video. But what it also has done is opened up a side quest. So we're going to get to Logan's side quest at some point. Uh, but for now, we're going to kind of stick to trying to do this radio tower stuff. But this Logan thing... Oh, it's deep. It's so deep and it's so good. And I'm so happy there's an actual quest line that goes along with it. So that is something to look forward to in the future of that. But uh, it's a lot of reading. I'm trying to figure out the best way to tell you all the story of Logan without boring you to death. But you kind of need to know it if we're going to do the quest. Uh, but to that, I'm also thinking this will end up being a quest as well. So we'll just have to wait and see. Let me just keep looking around a little bit. Hey, crab. Uh, you would think actually there was probably going to be a blueprint around here, but we've already found four, so I don't know. It just, yep, there was. Oh my god, there was two sitting right here in this coffin. You found a blueprint for shark repellent. Oh my god, that is huge. Oh yeah, the trident spear as well. A makeshift trident, not quite as good as Poseidon's trident, but the next best thing. Sticks, silver, and rope. Yeah, we could totally make a trident. Replace our crab spear, I guess. I mean, they're probably both good. They This one's probably better because it uses silver. And they neither one has durability, I'm assuming. Where is this shark repellent? Here it is. You need cocos and peppers. That's it? How do you make it, though? Like, that's it? I don't have to make a bottle? Okay. Cocoa and peppers. We got to keep an eye out for a cocoa plant. And then we got this other blueprint. Oceanic seasoning? Seasoning used to improve fish meat, spice container, lavender, and seaweed. Yeah, we got to make a fishing pole at some point. What am I doing? I haven't fished yet in this game. I love fishing in video games. All right, I'm going to keep looking at the beach here. And then we saw that uh, that rope bridge I want to go across too. That'll take us to the top of this island where there's definitely a structure of some kind up there. But I think we're almost done with our first lap around the beach here. I'm going to stop by the boat and drink some water. Check on Henry, see how he's doing. He's probably fine. He's not real. 
I do like how they do not give you an icon when you're close to a blueprint. Like, it's good that we have to find the blueprints uh, with no help at all. But, oh, wow, how did I miss this? Oh, speaking of another, another blueprint, uh, Zypher seasoning. So we've got one for meat. We've got one for fish. What, what would this be for? Seasoning used to improve bird meat. Oh, so they're considering meat like leopard. And this is for the birds, okay? I mean, they're both meat, but whatever. We take this journal page. Oh, Lieutenant Journal, uh, Lieutenant J. Thompson's note. Yeah, this one's only two pages, so let's go. It's been five days since the crash. I've managed to build a signal fire. Praying for my comrades will see it. Strangely, I'm almost happy about missing the battlefront. Surviving here. Away By the way, if I start misreading stuff, some of this is worded very strangely. I don't know that English is the developer's first language because some of it's just not structured properly. Uh, but anyways, also I miss, I'm, I'm a bad reader too, <laughs> publicly. In my head, I'm fantastic. I'm almost happy about missing the battlefront. Surviving here away from the horrors of war feels like a strange blessing. I think of my beloved fiance, Mary, and our unborn child, whom I hope will be a girl named Elizabeth. The thought of them fills me with joy and keeps me going. Hunger gnaws at me constantly. I've been eating uh, some of the nearby plants, hoping they're not poisonous. So far, I haven't fallen ill, but the uncertainty is always there. This island, in a way, is my salvation. A chance to escape the bloodshed I live and live. I dream of the day I'll see my family again, grateful for this unexpected reprieve. Each day is a challenge, but also a gift. Okie dokie. Well, maybe English is his first language, and he's just made some mistakes here and there. See, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get a shovel, and we can get some of this ginger before we go back home, because that's a couple of the uh, seasoning recipes asked for ginger. But it's nighttime, back to the ship. We'll cook up this uh, jaguar, get some fresh water, go to bed, and keep searching the island. One jaguar, two jaguars, three jaguars. All right, done, done, and done. Get a little bit of water. Go to sleep. Get up. Morning time. Good morning, Henry. I have a little jaguar for breakfast. Don't mind if I do. Fresh water from the turtle. Thanks, turtle. And do I have a shovel on the ship? I do not. Well, that is something I should have made and brought with me, but that's okay. I can make one real easy. I just need a rock shard. Actually, I should have a rock in here. Grab this, and we'll just break it on the beach. Grab a shard. Make a little spade. There we go. Put the bow and arrow down so I can pick up the spade, which should be on the beach somewhere. Yep, there you are. We'll get some of this ginger, and if we find some cocoa, we're grabbing that too. I think I have pepper plants on my island. I probably have all the plants I need on my island as well. But since I saw ginger, I'm definitely grabbing it while I'm here. Oh, one of my arrows. Good. Found it. First try. Hello, ginger plant. Mind if I just grab some of you? How many are you going to drop for me? Let's see here. Oh, yeah, plenty. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I've got to figure out a way to get up there now. That's what I'm doing next. Also, keep an eye out for some more of these lieutenant notes. Lieutenant Thompson. Is that his name? Jack. We'll just call him Jack. I think that's what it was anyways. Jack. Up this log here. And up this log. It looks like we're up here. That was pretty easy. Cool. Oh, another one of these Jack notes. Oh, thank God Jack doesn't like to write a lot. Just another two-pager. Isolation is really starting to get to me. I can't shake the guilt of hiding here to save my life while my fellow soldiers face the horrors of war. They're the real brave ones, fighting on the front lines while I ended up stranded on this island. My father never recovered from losing his own father in the Great War, and I vowed to be different. That's what I told myself to justify deviating from our course during the storm. But here I am feeling like a coward. My brother died with honor in battle, and now I'm just stranded waiting for a rescue that may never come. The more I think about it, the more I realize that dying in battle might have been the more honorable path. This pathetic existence, scavenging for food and battling my own mind, feels like a poor substitute for the bravery and sacrifice my comrades are showing. It feels like fate or someone is punishing me for abandoning my duty. War tears family apart, and I wanted to spare mine that pain. But now I fear that I may never, they may never see me again. And the thought of surviving when so many brave souls fight on haunts Fight on haunts me every day. 
and so many brave souls fight on ha uh, fight on comma haunts me every day it's hard to read these sometimes sorry got it okay yep he's feeling a little bit oh, there's one down there we'll get that on our way out how did i miss that we already went through that canyon oh because you got to find the first one before the next one pops up and before the next one pops up got it okie dokie what is going to be over here another blueprint wow advanced crab cage well we don't even need to look at that to know that it's going to give us a higher probability of catching crabs that's what all these things do let me kind of check around the edges before i go up to that tower could be something like an artifact over here would be nice just a little shiny artifact somewhere haven't found one on this island yet you know there's one here though oh my god more notes more notes what is this a national flag well we'll just grab it even though i already have the american flag bag and base that one looks like it might be different all right let's check this out oh four pages jack you didn't just do that to me okay so this one's all about him thinking about his past life in new york city how he would enjoy going to baseball games and the thoughts of his wife and his daughter are keeping him sane because he's battling I guess going insane here with the isolation. He's becoming depressed. He thinks about the war and how it'd be nice to have a future without war and colonies on the moon and flying cars and just stuff to kind of keep him from being lonely. And uh, that's pretty much what this is all about. Keep checking around the perimeter here. See if that sneaky dev put anything around the sides. It's hard to tell. There's too many bushes. Okay, let's go up. It's definitely like an old lighthouse. Up the ladder, please. Ladders. Ladders. <laughs> okay. Old blueprint. Hornet repellent. Okay, I found insect repellent on the beach, so that's nothing new, but we can make our own now, so that's cool. Oh my god, a second Wilson. There was a second Wilson the whole time. Cool. Oh, an artifact. A snake bracelet. And another note from our boy, bug repellent. So Jack here has wrote a note to his daughter, a poem. It's, uh, you know, just mushy dad stuff to daughter. And again, he regrets leaving his uh, fellow soldiers and being on this island. And he regrets it deeply. And he hopes that they'll understand and forgive him one day. I wonder if I'm supposed to somehow light this. I don't think there's a mechanic for me to light this, so probably not. All right, blueprint. Leather chair. Now we're talking. I'm putting that right out on the dock. But assume the leather chair requires leather to make. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh, it looks like a wicker chair. A bit more comfortable than a wood chair. Small sticks and leather. Yeah, okay. That's shark repellent, though. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Snake bracelet. Oh, look at that. Look at my fancy bracelet. We got to go put this on the boat. Henry will guard it. I just can't stop staring at my bracelet. So apparently all I've ever wanted to do was get a bracelet and just stare at it. I won't ever stop looking at it until I take it off. It's the curse of the snake bracelet. I was warned that these artifacts were cursed. And this one is, has the curse that makes you stare. Non-stop, forever. At its beauty and grace. Let me just check up here really quick. Because this nice flat area looks kind of sus. Could be something right around here. You just never know until you look. Nope, there's nothing up here. I've looked. And now I know if I can get down from here. The boat's right there. Yeah, we can get down from here. Perfect. Henry, I have a job for you. I need you to watch this carefully. Whatever you do, don't let it fall through the boat or anything. All right? That's coming home with us. Anyways, I'm still looking for stuff. I'll be back. How huge is it that we now have a recipe for shark repellent? So what I suggest we do is go home and make shark repellent before we try to go back to the shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean. That way, if the sharks are back, I just put on the shark repellent. I guess they leave me alone. We look for the captain's quarters, and we grab the loot. That easy. I want to check this middle part over here. Plus, wait. Plus, there was a note under the bridge. Let's check that first. Yeah, there you are. Found you. Ah! What? Stupid hornets. Oh, and a spider. Is there some... Invisible. What is that? What is that? A black widow. Oh my god. How am I alive? I've been stung by scorpions, hornets, and black widows today. Jesus. So at this point, he's been here for months. He's lost all sense of time. And the stench of his own unwashed body is a constant reminder of how long he's been here. He sees jaguars out on the beach. 
and he knows that they shouldn't be here. Things that he puts somewhere disappear and reappear other places. He hears voices at nighttime prowling on the island. Hunting for food has become futile and searching for plants to eat is extremely dangerous because a lot of them are poisonous. It's a gamble. Basically, how much longer can he endure this hell? I'm hoping just like the other notes that I found on the other island with the uh, commercial plane crash, these will also turn into some sort of side quest as well. But just like the other island, I had to read quite a few before it finally gave me like an objective to do, which was uh, terribly sad, terribly sad objective. I cannot wait for us to do that one together. Stop it, you little shit. Ugh, got him. I just wanted to check kind of the middle of this area, and then I think we're good here. Although, you know there's more notes on here somewhere. They're going to pop up probably around the beach at this point, because I feel pretty good about what we've done with the interior of the island. There's not too many more places for me to even check. Ah, look at this. I told you they'd start popping up out here. Already did a lap out here, though. Oh, yeah, things are getting bad. He wonders how long he's even been here. I think it's been years at this point now. He keeps finding artifacts and pottery, old tools, letting him know that people were here before him, and he wonders what their fate was if they were rescued. So he decides to take matters into his own ham and make a little makeshift raft, but it's so flimsy and unsturdy that it could barely make it to the other neighboring islands and back. No way it'll survive a trip across the Pacific Ocean. So he's starting to realize that this, this island is his prison and eventually will be his tomb. But the thought of that is unbearable because he doesn't want to die without marrying Elizabeth knowing what happened to him. Oh, hopefully this is the last one and maybe it'll give us a little something to do, a little task. Yep, last wishes, this seems important. I've lost track of time entirely. The days, months, and years have blurred together in an endless haze. If anyone finds these notes, please return my belongings to Mary O'Connor and my daughter, Elizabeth in Brooklyn. Tell them I love them with all my heart and that I'm sorry for everything. My final wish is for my story to reach them, even if I never do. I hope they find peace and happiness, even if I cannot. In my desperation, I've hidden my belongings across the island. Yeah, we got a little uh, quest. It's hypocritical after burning other artifacts for fuel, but I'm desperate. These items are precious to me, and I hope they are treated with care. I failed to show. Among them, you'll find my locket, a signed baseball card from Johnny Romano and a copy of the letter to my daughter, Elizabeth. Mary, my love, and Elizabeth, my little girl, I hope you find joy in this cruel world. Though I may be gone, my love remains in your hearts through joy and pains. Mary, my love, and Elizabeth, my girl, I hope you find joy in this cruel world. Though I may be gone, my love remains in your hearts through my joy. Did, that, did I just read the same thing twice? This is my last plea, my final testament. May my story serve as a reminder of the horrors of war and the cost of survival. I hope it brings some closure to my beloved Mary and a little Elizabeth. Remember me not for my failures, but for my love and for my desperate hope to see you again. So I imagine on this island, those three items will be here for us to grab. Not sure what you do with them once you find them, but it seems like a quest objective to me. And as sad as that story may seem to you, I'm telling you, the other story with Connor over at the commercial plane crash is movie worthy. <laughs> it's horrible. God, it's horrible. It took a dark turn over there on that island. So we will get to that quest another time. But let me just do one more comb over, see if any of these items pop up. I did kind of a quick search around the island and nothing popped up. That's not to say that those items aren't here. I'm pretty sure they're going to be. And I'm going to have to get within range before anything pops up and shows me where they're at. So for now, what the heck is all this? How did I walk over this earlier? I will take your tea. Thank you. But for now, I'm ready to leave the island. We will come back for this quest another time. But I've got a key to the radio tower. And I've got a shipwreck to check. Henry, how'd you do? Yeah, hang on to that. Okay. Let's get out of here. Drink some water. Out of all the things that I found today, blueprint-wise, that shark repellent is, I think, going to be the most useful. And it looks like the neck, the bracelet's staying on. I can see it through the horse's legs straight up ahead, so I think it's going to make it back to the base just fine. wonder what happens when we open that lockbox up there. I hope it doesn't, like, end the game, you know? I don't really know. There's still so much for us to... No, it can't. We have to build a plane to get out of here. 
Yeah, I don't really know what the point is of the radio tower. Are we going to try to call for help? I guess we're going to find out in a few minutes when I go up there with that key. Is my bracelet still there? Actually, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, you better stay. You stay right there. Wish I could teach Henry how to lower the sails so I wouldn't have to get up. Do it myself. Henry, you're pretty useless. You know that? I don't mean that. It's been a long day. All right, I'll get the sails, Henry. I'll get them. Oh, we, we hit the dock. It's pretty good, though. It's pretty good. All right, grab this. I think I'll put you on the table. Oh, it won't let me. Why not? Why can't you put it on the table? Why do I have to store everything outside? It won't even let me put it on the, the dock at all. Okay, well, I've got to put you on sand then, I guess. Yep. I'll put you next to this one. Wait, yeah? Can I put you out here? Kind of. Far away from the other stuff, though. Yeah, right there. That's good. All right, we got three artifacts out front, and I've got two artifacts out back. We've got five artifacts, though. Not sure that that's necessary to beat the game, but if we can bring some of these back with us, we'll be rich. Oh, wait, the rocking horse? Henry! Henry! You're an artifact! Holy crap! A Nyan toy horse. Thought to be used by children. Okay. Well, well, Henry, I didn't know I was in the presence of royalty, your majesty. Jeez. All right, we got to find a pepper plant and we've got to find a cocoa plant. I am sure I have seen both on my island. I probably can chop them up with my hatchet. I don't think I'll need a shovel, but maybe I will. Let me grab a shovel just in case. Now, one that I made when we were on the island, I left on the boat. I should have a nice one for at the house here. Yeah, look at this, a bronze shovel, a real shovel. Look at this thing made that all by myself out of bronze with my bare hands what are you cocoa plant exactly what we're looking for and you need it says i can get you with an axe actually okay cocoa oh here we go pepper plant found one chili peppers let me get those new plant discovered yeah so we do not have these planted back at base so i think i'm gonna get rid of this hawaiian blueberry plant and put peppers and then cocoa on the one on the other side i think that's what i'll do so we'll grab a pepper, drop it in, grab my coconut that's got water in it, water it. Oh no, my potato plant has bugs around it, but it's already grown. So guess what, bugs? I don't think you can do anything about that. Now I just need some fertilizer. Get this thing growing. Takes down the grow time considerably. 11 hours. It was at 23 hours, so that should be up and running by uh, morning. Let's get rid of this one and do the same thing over here, but with ginger. Ginger, water coconut. Oh, it didn't have any water in it, okay. Well, I did see in the comments, someone said all you need is a coconut. And what I think they meant is if I just get a whole coconut, I guess that'll work as water too. I don't need one that has rainwater stored in it. I also wonder though, if I could take those halves, instead of waiting for rain to fill them back up, maybe I can dip them into my turtle shell uh, dew collector, my, my rain catcher, and just get some fresh water really quick. We'll try both, see what happens. All right, just a whole coconut. Oh, that works. Thank you, comments. You guys are awesome. And then I could probably just eat this too, can't I? And still get water from it. Let's find out. I'm not very thirsty, but I want to see what happens. Yeah, it still gives you water. That's crazy. That's broken. So then, shark repellent. Three peppers, five cocoa. I think I have enough. They're highlighted green. I don't know if that's something they just added or not, but do it. I now have a crafted shark repellent added to my backpack. There it is. Crafted repellent, useful only against sharks. So I don't know how long that's going to last, but we're going to give it a test as soon as I go put this key up in the tower because that's what we're doing next. Two Wilsons, huh? Who would have thunk it? Not me. I thought we had the only Wilson. But I guess in some crazy scheme to turn a profit, the Wilson Company made more than one volleyball and a couple of them washed up around here. I guess that makes sense. Okay, I've got the key. Open. The tower has been activated. What's that mean? Yep. Oh yeah, a little red, little bleep, bleep. It's not making a noise, but I'll do that for you. Bleep, bleep. Well, what do we do? What does that do? Journal, 100%. With the tower parts repaired, I only need to activate the tower with the key. I did it. We finished it. So apparently I had to Google this. Once you get the radio tower activated, it allows you to use a GPS. And that GPS will mark things on the various islands for you to go find. So interesting, I don't have a GPS. I don't know if you're supposed to find it or if it was supposed to be in here. Doesn't look like it's in here. 
I don't know. But that's what activating the radio tower does. Let's use a GPS. It's supposed to show up in this wheel scroll, which also I didn't know existed. And you can, like, check your arms? Check that out. You can, you can look at your arms. Don't know why. You better not do it, game. You better not put leeches in this game and make me pull leeches off my arms from time to time like that one game did. What was that game called? It was terrible. It was hard. It wasn't a terrible game. It was just really hard. Green Hell. That's what it was called. Oh, the leeches and always having to check your arms and your legs. That was the worst. Okay, well, apparently there's a GPS we've got to find. Don't know where that's going to be. But we'll find it eventually. Oh, you know what? It's probably in you. That's what's in here. I don't have all the keys yet. I've got four. I need two more. Two more are missing. Oh, once we get it, we'll get the GPS. That's what's in there. Got it. Got it. Well, that ruins the surprise now, don't it, guys? <laughs> My bad. See, this is why I don't look stuff up. Even though it didn't tell me what was in that box, I am using what they call context clues and being a smart person. And now I know there's a GPS inside that box. Damn it. What if my meat ever finished smoking? We should check that out really quick. We'll go to bed, and then I'm going back to the sunken ship. Meat, have you finished? Burnt? What do you mean you're burnt? What does that mean? Why does it say burnt? You were supposed to be smoked. You're... <laughs> Extra crispy doesn't look very appetizing. Damn it! Smoker's not working right. And just throw the burnt meat inside the compost bin then. That's fine. Let it do its thing. So here is the seagull that's on my advanced trap. I'll just grab all those feathers and whatnot. And then you just need to re-snare it like that. But that thing catches them quick. So if you're home on your home island where you have those snares set up, I mean, like I said, you can get three or four in a day. In a day. Okay, Henry, we've got ourselves a dangerous mission. I'm gonna test out this shark repellent and hopefully it works. So what I'm curious to know is if it will actually make it to where the sharks don't even appear. Or will the sharks appear, but just not attack you? And then my final question is, if I attack the sharks while I have shark repellent on, will they not defend themselves and I can just get free kills on sharks? A lot of questions, we're gonna find out soon. Hopefully you guys don't mind these longer episodes. You can't get a lot done in this game in a short period of time. So these are kind of longer episodes than I would normally upload for this kind of a series, but hopefully you're enjoying them. Also, the reason you're only getting about one of these per week is because the game is in early access. Things are constantly changing. It's like weekly updates. I'm expecting an update any day now because it has been a week since the last update, but with new updates comes new fixes and stuff. So where I'm not finding stuff that should have stuff there, like possibly down at the bottom of this ship where we saw that skeleton, where you clearly needed to bust a lock to open the door, you would figure there'd be something down there. So I don't want to rush through the game and miss all the cool stuff that's going to be coming. Uh, and I don't even know if we can fully build the plane yet either to escape. So this game's in no hurry. I'm in no hurry. Hopefully you guys are in no hurry. I am glad you're enjoying it though. So thank you so much. And just like that, we are back in our old friend, the shipwreck. Hold on, Henry. It's rough out here today. Put that down and put that down. Now, first, I'm going to jump into Henry. Don't you fall. Stay right here in the middle because there are sharks around. I don't want them getting you. Jeez, what is going on in the boat? Getting rocked all over the place. I'm going to hop in here and see if there's any sharks in the water firstly. There is a shark. I saw one. He's over there. Get out of the water. Okay. So now, I'm going to put on my shark repellent and apply. Yep, and I have an icon over my, like, health bar area down there. Tells me how long this stuff lasts. So is there anything on the mast, first and foremost? Because I did just swim right past this last time. Doesn't look like it. But then, captain's quarters. Yeah, these sharks aren't coming for me. That's great. Maybe they even disappeared. But yeah, this is clearly the... How would, I, how would I not check this the first time? What's wrong with me? Is there anything in here, though? I'm going to be so pissed. I'm going to be so pissed. Doesn't look like any kind of captain's quarters either, really. I don't know what this looks like. All right, let me get some oxygen. Oh, God. I totally forgot about oxygen. Oh, no. I really don't want to die because I have this shark repellent on. Don't you do it. I'm so close. No! Since I actually saved before I put on the shark repellent, I should have shark repellent again, and I do. And now I'm going down. Here we go. This time, no drowning. I should have waited just a few seconds for the sun to come up. 
I did not. That was dumb. Is this the captain's quarters? Oh, this is the captain's quarters. Gotcha. I was in the wrong place. We're going to find something in here for sure. Oxygen, just keep an eye on it. I'm going to get rid of all these boards, go up, get plenty of oxygen, and come back down. The shark repellent is still on me. Seems like it might last a good while. And it seems like the sharks have scattered from the area. There was... Oh, there's still a dead shark over there from my last... My last visit? wonder if I can loot it. Let's see. Nah, it doesn't seem like it's going to let me harvest its body. I don't think it's actually here, even though we can see it. You know what I mean? Video game stuff. Oh my god! Hang on, Henry! It's rough out here. All right, going back down. Now I should be able to swim right in there, hopefully find whatever this place has to offer. Get some stuff. Oh, yeah. We got a light in here. That's nothing. What's over here? Nothing. Also nothing. Uh, a bed. A uh, whole bunch of absolute nothing. <laughs> kidding me? Are you kidding me, developer? You didn't put anything in this ship? You didn't think it was worth putting anything in this ship? You better put something in this ship before this game goes to 1.0. You better. All right, so nothing in the captain's quarters, nothing at the front of the ship. We went down here last time. There wasn't anything in here either. But maybe there is this time. There's a treasure chest. I mean, come on. you got to let me get in that treasure chest. Yeah, this is what this was what we broke the lock on this last time. Came over here, and this guy didn't have anything either. Oh my god. Okay, nothing at all in the shipwreck, for me anyways. Could just be a bug. I made it back, Henry. Everything's fine. And we will consider this a successful day. Because we did it. We fixed the radio tower. It's got to turn the boat a little bit. All the sharks here. The sharks are here. Okay. Did my Oh, my repellent's still working, though. I've got enough time to test out one of my questions. Will you attack me with the repellent on if I attack you? Doesn't look like it. Unless I'm just not giving him a chance to turn around. Oh, we got him. Our first shark kill. Well, not really. Our third or fourth shark kill. But the first time we're going to actually harvest him. Okay, I got some stuff. Check it out when we get back in the boat. Yeah, lots of stuff. I think I got a bunch of shark meat. So with shark repellent on, yeah, you can attack them and they won't ta attack you back. So what did we get? A ton of raw fish fillets. My goodness. We also got a shark's tooth and a shark fin. Uh, the fin of a shark might be useful for crafting something special. And the shark tooth says the same thing. Interesting. Did that trident require any kind of shark parts to make? Uh, let me go through all... Yeah, trident? No. Just silver sticks and rope for the trident. There must be a shark weapon. We don't have the blueprint for that yet. Cool. Actually, I'm not going to go back home. This is where I'm going to part ways with you guys because I'm going to stay on the raft. I'm going to go back to that island we visited today. And uh, I'm just going to break apart everything that's on the beach. Bring it back home. I'll see you guys on the next episode. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24. And I will see you uh, next time.